Welcome, 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 welcome to the Money Wise channel. On this channel, we're going to talk about inspirational events and a lot of great money things, you know. <laughs> I'm just going to be giving you my reaction on what I saw and may leave you inspired. People send me stuff, I look at it, and I love to just talk about it so that you can hear because sometimes you know you got to go to work or you got to go work out you can just put the headphones on and i can keep you updated on some things and just inspire you to keep pushing to be great or go after your dream because i know things get crazy but you got to keep moving success goes to the person that holds on after everybody else let go you got to keep pushing so i just love to inspire and push people to go after their dreams and complete their goals hey so today <laughs> we're going to be talking about an artist named yo Gotti. i seen this interview someone sent me and um basically it's yo Gotti, yo Gotti's interview on the best advice jay-z gave him or maybe it was yo Gotti's interview on the best advice he got from jay-z i think that was it yo Gotti's interview on the best advice he got from jay-z jigga Hove, y'all know the names. <laughs> so before we get into the actual advice, though, let's let's talk about Yogati for those that may not know Yogati. His real name is Mario Centel Giddim, um, from Memphis, Tennessee. He grew up in the Rid Ridcrest Apartments. It's the Fraser neighborhood. And um, he started rapping about around the age of 14, 13, 14 years old. And he had the name of Little Yo. So it wasn't, you know, Big Gotti or Yo Gotti. He was Little Yo at that time. And um, I say between 2000 and 2006, he released like four or five independent mixtapes. You know, just getting this stuff out there, making sure people know his name and, and, you know, hear who he is and what he had to say. He was definitely... Um, in the streets at that time so he was representing the street culture and um had the credibility people believed in him and he was able to speak of the things that were going on in the streets from the, the good and the bad he's real great at just communicating to you and letting you understand what he's saying great he does a great job how he just talks straight to you he's not a one of those rappers that use a lot of big words but he just get right to it on you and when you listen to him you know exactly what he said and you know what he meant you know what you knew what he meant though because people go back and forth about that but you know what yo Gotti said he meant what he said and you can listen to that and it, it can inspire you to move forward and whatever your condition is as far as the hustle and the street culture as that set up um in 2000 he dropped his uh independent mixtape uh from dope from the dope to say from the dope game to the rap game that's it from the the dope game to the rap game and in 2001 he dropped self-explanatory uh i believe 2003 he dropped life and then 2006 three years later he uh dropped back to the basics so you gotta understand this time he's doing shows he's traveling around he's making a couple of dollars he's already getting money because he's you know he's part of the street culture he's doing reveal so he, he's doing real well so he has the cars he has the jury he's knowing some famous people he's kicking with some famous girls he's living the life everybody knows him in the hood to a certain level but he wants more you know he wants to get bigger he wants to get to the deal want things to go well for him which anybody would when you're growing any type of business or doing anything you want to get to the top so you got to think he dropped his last mixtape about 2006 back to basics doing shows doing all that but it took but right when he's thinking like i should get a deal no no deal still chilling still haven't popped off the way he wants to pop off you know so i think it took about three years i think it's 2009 he finally signs a deal major deal with rca records so he's clearly happy about that he's been putting the work in he's been putting the time in and he's like okay i'm about to drop and they, they start moving forward they drop his first single called uh five star chick he drops that there's a remix on it he drops it on may 20 something 2009 he drops five star chick even with the remix 
and you think he's about to blow at that time, but no, it just sits there, delay after delay after the delay, and he has to continue to push himself, keep his mind right to continue to push through this. And I say it's about 2012, about three years after he signed this deal with RCA, that the actual album comes out. And the name of the album is called uh, Live from the Kitchen. That comes out finally in 2012. Remember, his single came out five star in 2012. <laughs> then it's two, th I mean, 2009, five star chick come out. And then three years later, that when he actually comes back and drops his actual album that's been delayed for three years. So he drops Live from the Kitchen with RCA Records. And it doesn't quite go the way he wanted to go. So he does, when it comes into October of that year, he just went back to the streets. Yo Gotti had enough. Went back to the streets, said, I'm going to drop my, basically my mixtape. And he dropped it. And it was called Cocaine Music 7. The world is yours. So he, that's where his mind was. Like, I'm about to just go back out here again and hit it again. Went back to his the basics, like he, his... Uh, one that he had before, I believe that was in 2006. He went back with that same mind frame. Like, I'm just going to get back to it. Because that's how you got to be sometimes. You got to get back to it. When other people don't believe in you, you got to get back to yourself. Believe in yourself. So 2012, after his album come out, it doesn't do what he wants it to do. After they already made him wait after, from 2009 from his single to 2012 that dropped the album. He said, man, he took his, his future in his own hands. 2012, went back to the streets drop cocaine music seven the road is yours and start that buzz going yep drop that butt got that buzz going got that buzz that's that buzz you can always remember the buzz the buzz the buzz you got that buzz going so once he got that buzz going and i always laugh because jay prince always says what's up with that buzz what's up with that buzz you gotta have that buzz so in 2012 he dropped that Boom, that start running out in the streets. Everybody's bumping it. So that got the ear of L.A. Reid. By this time, L.A. Reid was running Epic Records. They sat down together. And what Yo Gotti did is he took his label, CMG, and did a distribution deal with Epic with L.A. Reid. Do that distribution deal and with this major situation. This is the first time he actually starts to have success. Finally, after all this time, Remember, he dropped his first stuff in 2000. It took 2013 finally to get the success he wanted. And he did very well. And he's been doing very well since. So congratulations to Yo Gotti. Now, that brings us to the interview. Yo Gotti's interview on the best advice he got from Jay-Z. What was his advice? Well, what it was is, at this point, since he's doing very well, here comes the opportunity to buy his masters or to sell his percentage in it for a big check. Now, as you know, many people has been taking this check. Like everybody else, you know, like the Lil Wayne took the check. Uh, you got DJ Mustard took the check. The Dream took the check. Even Bob Dylan took the check, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Many people have just been letting their masters go. So he went to talk to Jay-Z. Jay-Z said, come out to the house. He went to the house. Him and Jay-Z sat down. And Jay-Z told him, it's not an option. It's about ownership and assets. And when he told Yo Gotti that, he thought about it and said, you know, you're right. And he decided at that point that he was going to keep it. You know, he was going to keep his stuff. You know, and I wonder right then when he said that, I said, I know you listen to Jay-Z, Yo Gotti. Did you ever hear that song, La La Land? Because in that song, Jay-Z clearly says, and they run off with your masters. And they took it to Beverly Hills while we in Calabasas. In my head, I'm scratching because this shh is backwards he had to hear him say that and they run off with your masters and took it to beverly hills for their children while we in calabasas in my head i'm scratching because this sh is backwards so i'm pretty sure he had to hear that so he had to already know what it was but he just wanted to have the conversation i believe and i'm glad he did you know and now through his success he has it and he can give it to his children doesn't have to worry about nobody else having his eating off of his um success and hard work forever they made their money back everybody's be cool he paid the rest whatever he owed them and now he he leaves i just call that good business and i just call that being money wise <laughs> so hey stay excited about life you know we'll be we'll we will be dropping more videos 
because I, I i'm seeing that you guys are getting inspired i see you guys are watching you know start start leaving me a couple comments let me know what you think and um faith without works is dead remember keep your eyes out for the small things as you are doing big things you got to keep your eyes out for those small things while you're doing big things that's what god he did he kept his eyes out he dropped the mixtape people would have thought dropping a mixtape would be small compared to when you already got a major deal but he was he was thinking right he did it and it pushed him forward you know like and subscribe to the money wise channel for more wisdom in the future and remember the plans may change but the goals stay the same like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video <laughs> yep